Ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, it's absolutely goddamn time for the best information you've heard all day, all week, all month, who knows how long. It is four o'clock in the morning for me, and it does not matter, because we just had the next brand new entry in the Monster Hunter series announced right at the end of the Game Awards, and it looks absolutely mind-blowing. I was watching this trailer live, they give it no introduction and just let it play so we could see it, and it took until I saw the Capcom logo before I even realized it could be Monster Hunter, and you know why? because it looks so insanely fresh and different and so weirdly full. The first thing that stuck out to me is the creature designs are cool and the environment not only looked massive, but is absolutely packed with living creatures. Like look at the sheer amount of wildlife. Then we see the player come in looking swish with a great sword on the back riding some sort of bird type creature, which they are straight up mounting. So instant confirmation that mounted movement is returning from Rise and Sunbreak, but even cooler this time as your mount can straight up fly. The two monster types that we see in this opening cell are some little pangolin type small monsters and some slightly larger versions of them with like electric spines coming out of their back and then some creature that looks like a mix of a lion and a bear put together it all just really took me off guard and I love it and just I didn't know it was gonna be a monster hunter game it, but it looks really good there was a storm rolling in which caused a whole ass stampede of these monsters and it just looks nuts when I say I didn't realize it was monster hunter until the Capcom logo showed up I mean it because this just sort of blows my expectations away as far as what I envision a Monster Hunter game to be. The rest of what we see is some really cool, interesting, contextual mounted movement, a limited amount of actual flying, then landing on a ridge to see the literal environment change in front of you, grass growing, water filling the river, and then Rathlos flies in looking beautiful as always, and the title pops up, Monster Hunter Wilds. Everyone, it is happening, the next new Monster Hunter game, and this looks properly next generation. No gameplay yet, no real information on the game itself, except that it looks ambitious as hell. We see a couple of examples of some monsters. We see the weather, the movement, the mount, the singular great sword, and we see the world and environment changing in front of you with the grass growth, which I imagine is a very purposeful thing to be showing us here that will have implications for the game as a whole. And yes, the name itself, which is Monster Hunter Wilds. We're going to do a full dissection of this going on later today, where we dive into every little detail we can from this little announcement trailer. But for now, this is just, hey, for anyone who wasn't watching the Game Awards, this happened, this is a thing, and it's incredible. And for anyone who was watching the Game Awards, come join into my hype anyways, because this is the place to celebrate. The final real point that I have to make here then is that this is a set release of 2025, with more information coming in summer of 2024. A lot of people were assuming the next main series Monster Hunter game would be happening sometime in 2024, but given that it is now going to be in 2025, as confirmed in this trailer, and the absolute scope and scale that we see in this trailer itself, I think it makes quite a lot of sense as to why it is a year later than we expected. As if I had to guess, it's going to be the sheer density and the activities and the literal flying mount that we see. This is about to be the biggest, most ambitious project we have ever seen in the Monster Hunter franchise, and it is going to be something absolutely special on next generation consoles and PC. The final thing of note is that with this confirmed to be in 2025, that does leave a bit of a notable gap of Monster Hunter content in 2024. So I'd say it's not at all unlikely we might have some sort of remaster or remake or side content game like a stories franchise entry, something like that, coming in to fill that slot. It's of course not confirmed in any way, but it sort of just fits now. All in all, I'm honestly just sort of speechless. A reminder to everyone who is sitting there wondering why I of all people of watching this, yes, I do stay spoiler free leading into a new Monster Hunter game with the one exception of the launch trailer, because it usually is all about height, minimal actual substance, lets me get a feel for what the game is as a concept without spoiling anything like proper important monsters at all. And it just gives me an outlet for my hype of new Monster Hunter game that I just won't be able to actually have for the next month months and months leading up to the game, because now the blinders have to go on and I have to avoid information on this game like all hell, so that I can be fresh as a baby bird going into it on release for you all to enjoy my reactions to such and things. That's all I really have to say. I mean, what else is there to say? I am just so excited. I know all of you guys are too. And again, check out the channel later today for a more detailed dive into this. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye